Listen, just because it's August, summer is far from over. I keep seeing all these posts mentioning fall and fall fashion and I'm just not ready yet. I am not ready yet at all. Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. A special hello to all of my mid mafia out there. I hope you guys are doing well. After two months of cute summer activities, you might be in what you can call a summer fashion rut and i am here today to inspire and to help you get out of that rut let's get started so i've been traveling a lot lately and i have picked up on some types of outfits that i feel are the easiest to just throw on and go so all of these outfits aren't necessarily about the outfit itself but it's more about the type of outfit so outfit number one type are jumpsuits so jumpsuits are pretty much a no-brainer, especially a printed jumpsuit. The reason I love jumpsuits so much is that they look good on any body type, period. And I will let you know, I don't know what it is about having a recent birthday, but turning 29 turned me into a prince lady. Like I didn't really like printed items, like printed fashion items so much, but I don't know what it is about this summertime. It's a lot easier in the summertime to find a good print to just throw on. And this print of this specific jumpsuit, I call like that Versace Migos vibe, which I love so much. It just like exudes luxury and you didn't even try to do too much. I got this at Rainbow for $20. If you are still sleeping on Rainbow, please wake up. Actually, no, stay asleep so that I can have all these cute outfits for super cheap. Thank you very much. I just paired it with these earrings. I'm pretty much gonna keep these earrings on the whole video. All the outfits I have, incorporate some kind of black and gold in it because that's just what I love. So these earrings are from H&M. I got them on clearance. They were originally $12.99 and I got them for like four bucks. Do you like them? Tassels are super in and a little beadedness to it. Yes, yes. Also, a, another accessory that you will see me pairing all these outfits with is an Emery Rattan bag. Emery was nice enough to reach out to me through email and we connected and I decided to do a collaboration with them on this video. This is my first collaboration, so I hope the McMafia really enjoys it. I actually had already bought a Rattan bag from TJ Maxx and then a week later they contacted me and I took this bag that I got from TJ Maxx back. <laughs> I actually like their bag so much more. They are a company that is based in Bali. All the bags are made actually by local Balinese artisans, which I think is really awesome. And the cool thing about that means they are 100% handmade. And when I got the bag, I was like, okay, cool. This isn't like a mass production bag from a brand that is just putting these in a warehouse and chugging them out. You can tell that this was handmade, which is really cool. This is something that I would probably buy if I was already in Bali off of a street vendor. So I think that's really awesome that this company actually physically moved their entire location to Bali to work with Balinese artists. I am super excited to show you. If you're like, Kelly, what the heck is a rotten bag? I'm talking about like that basket bag, that round, cute basket bag right here. I'll show you guys up close in just a second. It's really awesome. It is super lightweight. I don't really like purses that are too heavy when I'm traveling, except my backpack. If I'm going to wear a purse, I want it light and just like flowing all over the place because I'm traveling, I'm moving very quickly. But this bag is big enough to actually fit my Polaroid camera in there, my phone in there, lip gloss, anything I would need, passport, obviously super important. And the inner lining is different prints. I'm not exactly sure how you can ask them to do a specific print on the inside, but I ended up really liking mine. So yay, you will see that being styled. And I got the Rattan Cadiz bag, that is the one they sent me, which is super cute. So do you want to see her? She's really cute. You know when you really like something and you start giving it like human qualities so you call her her? Here she is! Look at her! I love basket anything. Like half of my house has now turned into that. I moved my home decor from like that rustic chic to like a bohemian, earthy, modern, century, whatever. So this fits in so well. On the inside, this is that print that I was telling you about. It is like black, gold, which love, green, and a little bit of blue, and they're like small, pretty peacocks. I don't know if you can exactly tell. This is as far as the bag opens, which I actually like because the bag that I got from TJ Maxx, and half the reason why I brought it back, is because it kind of fell open like a 
picnic basket and like that's not really helpful for having items inside so this is my emery rattan bag and you will see it throughout this video being styled with every single outfit because that is what you need when you are traveling this is a super lightweight you can fit this in your carry-on which is great because you know I'm all about a carry-on that's it and it's strong enough yes it is baskety would I put this through checked probably not I'm not putting this in my checked bag but let's get started with these outfits shall we Okay. So second type of outfit is any kind of animal print top and neutral bottom. I'll be trying on this shirt with three different bottoms. I am doing a paper boy type denim short, also black, black flowy pants. And then you can also add in a denim skirt with this as well. I got the top from H&M, the paper boy short. I don't know exactly what you call those, but that's what I call them. I got those from Bershka when I visited Amsterdam a couple months ago. And the denim skirt, I actually thrifted. I mean, don't sleep on thrift stores either. I thrifted those. And then the third pair of pants, the black flowy pant, I got from Olive Valet. Olive Valet. I will put that right here. Not sure if you have those in your area. Not sure exactly where those are in the nation or the world. I do think it's domestics. I wanted to keep all of the pieces that I include in these outfits pretty simple. Something just to inspire you. You can find an animal and print top pretty much anywhere. So this next type of outfit I definitely think is better for nighttime. Most of these outfits I'm always about a daytime to nighttime transition. But because it is leather, a leather skirt, do not be fooled. Leather is for summertime. Like, let's argue in the comments about it if you don't believe so. We don't have to argue. We can have, like, a healthy, grown discussion. But seriously, I really think that, like, leather can be for summertime. I would reserve it for nighttime once a little bit more cool because direct sun on leather doesn't sound like a great idea. I did wear this exact skirt. Sorry, I got it a couple years ago, like, several years ago at Hollister. I used to be a manager there and got it for, like, five cents. If y'all want a story time on that one, ooh. Oh, I might do that. I might do my a story time on the time that I was a manager at Hollister and all the stories from that. It was fun. And then, anyway, I was about to get off topic. Back to the leather skirt. So I got this from Hollister. Leather skirts are definitely back. Like just the leather like period is back. I would say Express is probably the best place to get like good quality leather. Of course, it's not like real leather. It's not smelling like, you know, like cows and stuff. This one is back to that like Versace Migos vibe. That print has like gold chains on it and stuff. Love it. Also from Rainbow, and it ties in the middle like a nice little pretty tie. Love it. Super easy outfit. Great for nighttime. Great transition to the club or going out to whatever parties and frolicking you're doing at nighttime. So to bring it back to daytime casual, this next type of outfit is the perfect cotton bodycon. This dress, once again, just like a jumpsuit, is perfect for any body type. It just sucks you in and makes you just look like you got a little bit more you know, in the in the backside, then you may do, which us small little booty clubs really appreciate. <laughs> These are super easy to find. Once again, Rainbow, Rainbow, like sponsor me. I don't realize how much I shop there until I do videos like this. And I'm like, yeah, got that from Rainbow, got that from Rainbow. Regardless, $8, literally $7.99. They came in all kinds of colors. They had gray, I grabbed the yellow because I'm trying to step out of my summer black, all black. I got an all black outfit coming at the end of this video, so you'll see that in a second. But I really like it, it's so easy. This is like good for errands during the day. This is good for your travel. This is good for like a walking tour type vibe very breathable very comfortable you could put some sneakers on with it and be super cute you could put some like Birkenstock type sandals love 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 easy peasy outfit bodycon boom go still looks good with the earrings that I have on like these tassel -y earrings I think it works really well so another one cotton bodycon this next outfit I am assuming is going to be a fan favorite comment down below if this is your favorite because I know it is my favorite when it comes to comfortability and just like the colors and it's really fun and tropical and just makes you want to book a flight and go two-piece guess from where uh rainbow I have seen them at many other fast fashion stores trust me but a two-piece outfit of any kind whether it is all black or an all white or like this fun blue green flowery birds and stuff type print it doesn't matter this is super easy and the greatest part about this is come on if you think about it technically this is three outfits 
And you say, Kelly, how? How is this three outfits? If you already have followed along with me and you've been on this channel long enough, I am all about making something last, making the budget stretch. This is three outfits, I, I don't care. That is a top that you can put with some nice biker shorts. It's a nice flowy top, so you just need something really simple on the bottom, something neutral. Those black paper boy shorts from earlier, those would go well with this top. Flip that off, take that top off, and put them flowy pants. Put a nice tiny tube top on, neutral colors as well. Something solid print would be best. Boom. You got one outfit with your two pieces matching. You have an outfit with just the top and an outfit in just the bottom because wow, you can't do too much repeating of this outfit. It is very loud. I mean, you can wear it every day on a vacation if you want to. Like this is your life. Like you can do that. But it is something that is very loud. So to break it up into, you know, maybe use it again, bust out those tops, bust out those pants. Like you can do it. Probably would have changed the earrings with this, but I didn't think about it because I jumped in the outfit and it was just so fun. Pairs perfectly with my emery bag. Boom. Rattan is where it is. I'm telling you guys. So outfit type Last but not least, this is pretty much what my soul looks like. Not in the sense of the color, but just the comfort. It is an oversized top that I got from H&M and some biker shorts. Biker shorts, man. I, I, I think fashion sometimes, like the trends that are happening, because they just get more comfortable and more comfortable. These are the shorts that your mom, at least if you were born in the 90s, your mom bought you this in every single color. All they are is stretchy cotton shorts, biker shorts, but they're now like become really, really popular. Thank you to whoever started it, Fashion Nova, I don't care. Love them. These ones are a little bit more spicy. They have zippers on them. To tell you the truth, and I'm trying to rack my brain, if I remember by the time I post this video where I got it, I will put it right here. I don't remember where I found them. It had to be somewhere in between all the lay or rainbow or maybe thrifting, but I don't know exactly where I found them. This is perfect, perfect for the transition from the airport to going out somewhere that is warm. Summer travel is the focus. So the tops, super easy. They're like seven bucks at H&M. Bottoms, biker shorts, I've seen them everywhere. H&M, Fashion Nova Online, Pretty Little Thing has them. Rainbow has them. Walmart has them like listen listen do not go and buy some champion version of these like you can find these for like five cents also I did find a six pack on Amazon I will link it below if I can find it for you guys so guys these are all of the fun easy types of summer go-to outfits that I have for you today I hope that you enjoyed this video if you like lookbooks Obviously, they're gonna keep coming because I love showing you guys fun little outfits. Have a couple of trips, so much footage to go through because I literally have been traveling so much. I have like three trips of footage and then I have three more trips coming up soon. So there is plenty of content. Please join the McMafia if you have not, if you are at all interested in travel content. This is the place to be. Love you guys so much. All my McMafia members, we are growing. We are very close to 5,000. Sheesh, just saying that is just absolutely wild. I hope that you are doing well, and I will see you guys next time in my next video. Special shout out, cannot forget, to Emery for sending me the Cadiz Rattan bag. Beautiful bag, really well made. Balinese, something that I would buy anyway if I was over in Bali. Haven't been yet. It's time to go. Alrighty, see you guys next time. Stars, I'm a fool for you.